hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the next topic is hunting and with the damper windings so it is a very important thing which will occur in the synchronous motor generally so we will discuss about the hunting here and look at here the phenomena of involving the oscillations involving the oscillations of rotor but about its equilibrium position is called hunting equilibrium positions is called hunting so generally we have the rotor just assume this is the rotor it has a north pole and the south pole and rotor has like this stator is like this so sometimes due to some fluctuations it will have some oscillations it will have some oscillations we will get some oscillations then this phenomena is called as hunting okay during the rotor oscillations or hunting both is the same the orientation of ef changes relatively with respect to the vt terminal voltage so here due to the so according to the terminal voltage the emf across the field will be changes across the field will be changes so with respect to the terminal voltage it will be varied so generally it is called the phase swinging phase swinging generally here the terminal voltage because it is a synchronous motor will take the terminal voltage vt and which will rotates generally um, but it is constant but due to the fluctuation of this due to the fluctuation of this the synchronous motor the ef field emf will be having some fluctuations ef having some fluctuations okay so this is called phase swinging we can name it as the phase swinging all right so if you observe here in the so generally we have two things are available so if generally to reduce this handing we are providing the damper windings we are providing the damper windings if we don't have any damper winding that means no damping the phase angle is varies like this it is phase angle so not phase angle this is the load angle generally this is the load angle this load angle is initially travel from 0 to del 1 and after that this is del 1 to 2 del 1 then again decreases to del 1 then again becomes to 0 after that then again it reaches to del 1 then again it increases to 2 del 1 next 0 so if we are not providing any damping it doesn't have any damping so the load angle will be varies like this load angle will be varies this is the case of no damping no damping generally damping is used for the reduce the oscillations reduce the oscillations okay if we are using if case b damper provide if damper present in the circuit present in the circuit then initially it, it reaches to del 1 then slowly decreases and again slowly decreases and it will be settled down and again the del 1 only this del 1 is the load angle so that's why the damper windings are very very important damper windings are very very important next rotor hunting occurs load angle del varies from load angle del varies from 0 to 2 del 1 and back so in the hunting process it will be varies from 0 to del 1 and reaches to 2 del 1 from that again it will reaches to 0 okay during the hunting 
yes next hunting effects so what are the effects are possible due to this hunting first point mechanical stresses on the shaft so generally we have a shaft shaft consisting of the rotor shaft consisting of the rotor so due to this load angle variation due to the load angle variation increment and decrement generally the mechanical stress will be followed on the shaft mechanical stress will be followed on the shaft okay next great surges current and power so when the load angle is varies means so generally the current value also changed current value also varied okay and whenever the current value changes the power value also changes so due to that the variation due to this variation great surges great surges will be occurred great surges will be occur next third point mechanical loss and temperature rise is done so when the shaft has some fluctuations then automatically the mechanical stress will be occur mechanical loss will be occur and whenever the loss is follows whenever the loss is occurs then automatically temperature will be rise temperature rise will be increases that means temperature of the motor will be increases right next next heading causes for hunting so what what is the reason for causes the first point sudden change in load so generally we have so we have a synchronous motor uh, synchronous motor is supply is given and this is the shaft okay this is the supply three phase supply so it has some load generally it has some load if it has some load if so sudden change if the load is this mechanical load is increases or mechanical load is zero then what happen then surges will be occur then generally surges will be occur that means in this case hunting will be developed first thing fault supply of the system so if the supply voltage is fault value that means it's a wrong value then automatically the hunting will be available next thought sudden change in field current so then the generally for the rotor field is connected if the field current will be varied then automatically sudden change in field then automatically it will be occur okay next fourth point load or drive containing the torque harmonics so torque is the main reason for the synchronous motor rotation if uh, this load torque or drive torque containing the harmonics then automatically hunting will be developed so the reasons are simply sudden change in the load first point second fault supply voltage third point sudden change in field current fourth point load drive containing the harmonic torque conditions right next so next is eliminating of hunting so how to eliminate the hunting is the thing okay the first point the first point is by using a flywheel so generally flywheel is used to the control the hunting here the flywheel is the main one of the important hunting eliminating application second by designing synchronous motor with suitable synchronizing power coefficient so generally the hunting is done the fault condition we already discussed about that fault condition so in the fault condition uh, synchronizing power will be developed so here synchronizing power will be developed right this synchronizing power 
synchronizing power coefficient we should maintain the synchronizing power coefficient then automatically the it will be hunting will be controlled next the third point by using the damper windings by using the damper windings okay yes so due to the hunting the load will be varied and the speed also varied generally the speed also varied two conditions are varied one is the load angle the another one is the speed these two things are varied so the control these two things we are using some to control this we can use the three application so generally damper windings are more preferred than the above two methods okay flywheel method or synchronizing power coefficient method okay right so i hope all of you understand the session thank you